today I'm going to go over a couple of tools SolidWorks has to take uh, design data that could be similar to another project. Uh, in this case, I've got um, a sheet metal part uh, called Bracket 001, and I also have a drawing uh, of the same name, and we'll come open this up here. So here's my drawing. And you can see it's a, a, a multi-sheet drawing where the front sheet is the bent state and the uh, second sheet is the flat pattern that also is containing the cutlass properties of that flat pattern. Now, similar to this sheet metal part, uh, 001, is another sheet metal part called bracket 002. Now, we haven't had a drawing been created yet of this bracket 002, and it's a similar enough design to the bracket 001 that I could reuse the data for uh, the, the first bracket for this second bracket here. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is with a drawing tool. Let me go ahead and just close both of my sheet metal parts. So working here within the drawing, the first way we're going to look at how we can take existing data and reuse it for uh, similar projects is the uh, drawing tool called Replace Model. And replace model, the way it works is if you have a bunch of views in the drawing, you can simply just uh, reload with uh, a new file. So here I've got um, what views I'd like to replace. And down here I can just browse and find the new file that I want to replace it with. Now, this isn't my favorite option to do this with because uh, you'll see when I'm done here that uh, some of the information isn't actually uh, retained. So it's showing me that uh, the new views have been updated. Um, I just have to hit the green check mark to confirm. Now, once I've, I've finished this process, you can see that the file has been updated. Uh, the, the previous bracket, 001, has been replaced with the bracket 002 with the slot. Uh, I, I do have a dangling dimension up here that used to belong to the holes. Um, and you know, no longer is referencing this slot here, so I would want to just delete that dimension. But uh, before I move any further, I'm going to go ahead and jump back over to the flat pattern state and just take a look. Now, you'll notice that the flat pattern has been completely broken. So the replace model method didn't actually retain the connections to the flat pattern. And in this case, if I wanted to use this, this drawing for my new bracket before I went and saved it, I would have to reinsert another flat pattern as, long, as well as with the, the cutlass notes. So um, let's look at a, a different way to do this. Let me go ahead and just close this down. And uh, let's open it up, uh, except for I'm not gonna completely open it up. I'm just gonna use the file open option and browse for my bracket 001. Before opening it though, I'm gonna use the references button. And what this will do is show me what part this bracket drawing file is referencing. So it's letting me know, hey, it's, it's referencing the bracket part file 001. And before I open this up, what I could actually do is change the reference state. So if I want this drawing file to reference a different part file, I can simply double click here and then choose my new part file that I'd like to reference it with, 002. All right, let's go ahead and just open this up. And now we're going to have a message here. SolidWorks is identifying that same dangling dimension that is uh, you know, associated to the holes and not the slot and asking me how would I like to treat this. And we'll go ahead and check that on and say go ahead and delete it. <clears throat> so once it's loaded, you can see the part has been updated with the new slot. The dangling dimension has automatically been deleted for me. Let's go back over to my flat pattern and take a look. And in this scenario, using the file open option, the flat pattern has been updated. So it looks like it could be a little better method um, than using the replace model option. Now, I still am working in my bracket file drawing 001. Um, let's go over here and look at our references real quick. So I'll hit my file there button and then come down to find references. So you can see in my, my find references that my drawing file 001 is referencing my new part file 002. Now, I need to save this bracket 001, this drawing file, as bracket 002 drawing file. So let's go ahead and do that now with the file save as.
And then just like that, I've created a drawing for my sheet metal part, bracket 002. I can confirm my references up here to make sure everything is checked out. Bracket 002 drawing is now referencing bracket part file 002. All is good. So that's one method you could do that with. Prior to opening a drawing, use the Find References option to map it to a different file. Now, I don't yet have a, another file, bracket 003, created. That's something that I might want to create is another similar part and drawing than we have in the bracket 002 file. In this case, uh, the bracket part file 003 is just going to be the same slot, but maybe uh, a, a lower dimension uh, from this top edge. Okay? And the way I could create both of these files is with working in the current bracket 002 drawing file. Let's go back and look at that file save as option. So I'll come up here and hit the file save as. And instead of going ahead and just saving it as a new name here, prior to doing that, I'm going to check this box on, include all references. That way it also picks up the part that this drawing file is referencing. And then I'm going to hit the advanced tab. Now we can see that the bracket 002 referencing bracket 002 part, we're going to save those as new names. I can just double click in here and manually type in you know, a new name for my drawing file, 003. I could also use this find and replace tool that you, you see that in any other uh, Microsoft uh, application like Word or Outlook, and it works just the same. I could just hit find and replace and say, all right, find the uh, 002 um, nomenclature and replace it with 003. And you can see both have been updated in green. Uh, finally, I'll go ahead and save all, and it's gone and done it. So uh, my new bracket 003 drawing file has been created. I can even go to my references and confirm that bracket 003 part file has been created as well. At this point, I would probably just want to make a quick change to this. Save it as the current names, and then I'm done. So to review, I've now created similar files, bracket drawing 002 for the part file 002, and then we use the find or file save as advanced option to create the new files bracket 003 and bracket 003 part. Thank you for watching my video. If you guys have any questions or would like to reach out for more information about SOLIDWORKS tips and tricks, please don't hesitate to do so. Thank you. Bye.